Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 2 of Asteroid and Love. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Come here, puppy. Ah, oh, that looks so good. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, Mika and Mari. <laughs> oh god Oh my god, you know <laughs> Oh god, she's so adorable. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> it's strong with this show. I mean, it's also like um, the one show I reacted to last year. It was the Cheer anime. That's also by the uh, the same people that did this show. Um, and how that had somewhat eerie. I think almost like every show that they've made that's been made into a manga that's eventually been made into an anime. Um, there's always characters who are always in love with each other. I think with, like, Laid Back Camp, it's Kirby and Rain. Um, I don't remember everybody's name from uh, the cheerleading anime that they did. Uh, for Comic Girls, it's the blind... No, 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 no. It's the, uh, it's not the blonde and the pink hair girl. It's the other two girls. And then plus kind of um, the one who does the horror manga, because I love the crap out of her. She made me laugh too damn much. Um, Sakura Chick was obvious because they had their couples in a way, and that was like the best interpretation of a um, girl ex girl couple besides Blooming to You. Like, that is like top tier notch, and that is something that I recommend to like anybody who just wants to like watch a same sex couple and like get a spot. Miss that show too. Kind of wish we could get a second season, but no. It's pretty though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. 
Check this out. <laughs> Perfect. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's a girl. At least you tried. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that too. Then they got a Libra. There we go. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> only if Susan was in this group. <laughs> oh.
Oh my god, I can't. It's too much. Yeah. But see, it makes you wonder, like, so many years ago, how they were able to just see it with just their eyes. And who knows? Like, if we had, like, the technology to go back in time, that would be just amazing. Just to know. <laughs> you know. Well, I guess we know who wears the pants in the relationship. <laughs> oh. Aww. She is like a goodie who freaking gave us what is pictures of your boyfriend You're like you take my money, yes. No, I can't, I love her. <laughs> oh that sucks. Bless you. So freaking pretty. You can do that best, girl. Put your pictures on the internet. That's a smart idea. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you would have to write an art like an article with two of them just to get the three hundred and sixty six. You failed as a big sister.
Oh, that looks good. Yeah, they're panties, though. See, Susan was just like, yes, let me take my bread and just make it into some panty bread. <laughs> I can't wear her. I love her so much. And she's <laughs> I can't. There's going to be one day where she's going to do something and I'm going to be drinking some water and she's just going to make me spit my water out. <laughs> oh my god, it's so adorable. Perfect. Okay, since I'm about to stay. <laughs> I gotta be nervous too, but you just gotta wait and see. Because of Misa. <laughs> oh, my God, my child. <laughs> Oh, I literally, I, I kind of thought y'all would compare both sides, but I don't think they're going to do that in this show. Uh. <laughs> Hell, she could be like Yuri. From Yuri on I was like, <laughs> Girl, Even I didn't know that. <laughs> I 
praying, giving thanks. Yuki. Oh, okay. <laughs> they sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, just imagine that walk every single day. But be proud about that, man. But just, <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like, what? oh my God, where's the club? On the other side of school. <laughs> oh my God, that's a long behind walk. You gotta like dash over there right when the bell rings. Okay. But this episode was adorable. I do love the fact that they all literally stayed up all, like somewhat of all night because it, it didn't seem like they went camping but it, in a way they kind of did to look at the asteroids and the planets and everything and seeing if a meteor showed up but no meteor did but it was nice and then they're making their first official issue like oh my god babies they're growing up and they celebrated oh god wait until they get to the last of this episode i mean the last episode of this series and possibly if anybody is going into high school or whatever, that's going to be a sad day. I don't want that. Don't do that to me. I'm not, like, I don't even know why I'm talking about this now. But it's just like a little guess, and I feel like I'm going to cry. But honestly, the voice actors in this show is so freaking good. I literally love everybody. We already know my favorite character is the Super Delta president. Um, the, well, no, the, the president of it. Because funny thing enough is she's in Pretty Cure. And she voices one of my favorite characters. And it's still funny. The freaking Susie. <laughs> me and Susie, we click it. And I love her. I love her so freaking much. I, she's just so adorable. And you have to love her. And her like, over obsessive much of the fact that she is in love. She loves love and loves girls love. And like, that's so freaking sweet. But oh my god, her, her bread panties. <laughs> I can't. I mean, that's a little too far, but hey, I mean, it's food. <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse. Think about when you're going to a bachelorette party, or even for guys when you're, no, well, no, bachelorette parties really don't do that. Bachelorette parties do that, where they have, like, <laughs> cookies and cakes. <laughs> it's, like, the best thing ever, and it's just nothing but this. <laughs> <laughs> or if you are someone who is for the same sex, you have nothing anywhere. But yeah, I, I really thought that crap was funny. It was a little too much, but it was still funny. I think just with Suzu, like I said, there's going to be one day where I'm going to have a really good bottle of water and I'm just going to be drinking it. And Suzu is going to do something that is going to make me freaking laugh. And I'm just going to be like, this girl, I'm so done with her. But it's interesting that Suzu, because I was thinking, I was like, damn. We're, we're literally probably going to have no one who's going to be a freaking Libra. And then you see me and I was like, Susie's a Libra. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> but you have to love her. I mean, I still hate the fact that, you know, even though <clears throat> she has a job, she's working at 
her bakery for her parents and everything. And she's not essentially a part of this group. In a way, she is. She's a part of the club, even though she can't go to club meetings, be a part of stuff all the time. She's going to be there, mm, like, any other time. So not every single time. I, I would just hope, like, she's still in every single episode because she's just as important as everybody else in the series. So everyone's going to have their all, like, equally their time to shine in their own special ways. I love the fact that, you know, Al with the telescope, that was so adorable. Like, oh my god. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, like everything about this show was adorable. But, I mean, still, I love learning more about, you know, the planets. Because, I mean, they, they've talked about some things that, in a way, you should have already possibly learned at school. Possibly, maybe middle school or a little bit of high school. Between, like, elementary and middle school. And then maybe a little bit of high school just for review-wise because I didn't know anything about them rocks because in my high school, my elementary school, my middle school, we really didn't study mostly about rocks. We just studied more about planets and asteroids and stuff. So I know a little bit of stuff. I love the fact that we had something about um, the hot springs because I didn't really know anything about that. Like, I, I would like to know a little bit more. So if they ever wanted to do an anime on, like, studying of hot springs or the study of, um, literally anything. Because, like, look at freaking Healing Good Pretty Cure coming out in the next few weeks. That's about animals and that's going to probably go a lot into depth about animal stuff like, um, veterinarians, uh, the study of literally any type of animal or whatever um zoology something like that and it feels like whatever those three girls are going to go into their you know career wise by the end of the series let's go a year from now um when the show eventually does and it's going to be the study of something for all three of them like that's going to be their niche but yeah it was a damn good episode it was freaking adorable i cannot wait to see whatever the heck episode three is called which is memories are treasures i do love the fact that you know Yuki, their teacher, and you had the ladies gossiping about her. I swear to God, I need more of that. I just want to know a little bit more about her because she kind of reminds me of um, the teacher and the student, or the former student of Slow Start. I don't remember their names, but one of the girls was friends with uh, one of the character's cousins. And they eventually, like, at first she was a little afraid because she didn't want to move on and da-da-da-da, stuff like that. It, it's been a while since I've seen Slow Start. But I'm essentially getting feels to that when I watch this show. Almost like I'm getting feels to, like, every other show they possibly created when I watch this show or any other show that they've done. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode two of Asteroid in Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode three. Bye, guys.